Welcome into a special edition of the Parking Lot Preview. This is our second time recording this one. My phone overheated in the heat here. We're in Hartford, Connecticut today. I'm Mike Maynard alongside Matt Coates. Hartford, Connecticut for the Hyannis Harbor Hawks? Hyannis Harbor Hawks, yep. This is a Cape Leak baseball game. Not Cape Cod, not the Wingham Demon, the Yard Goats Field. I believe it's Duncan Park and maybe Duncan Donuts Park. Leave a like if it's Duncan Park and leave a like if it's Duncan Donuts Park, please. I agree. Leave a like. Why not? Why not? But yeah, this is a very special game. These players get the chance to play in a professional ballpark today. Like we said, we believe it's the AA Affiliate Stadium for the Colorado Rockies here. Yep. The Yard Goats play in this stadium. Great team name, by the way. Shout out to the Yard Goats. We love you guys. But this is an excellent opportunity for these players who all have professional aspirations of their own to play in a professional ballpark. So I'm sure they're all excited, just as excited as we are, Mike. Of course. We're so excited. We're here bright and early. I got up at 6 o'clock this morning to make the trip out here. Two and a half hours from Cape Cod. Players have to do it too, though, so they're ready to go. And they got pro they probably got here earlier than me. So yeah. hey, good on you guys. They had the bus drive though to sleep. I did not sleep while driving. Um, Thank you. Got here alive. Yep. Anyways, Harbor Hawks taking on the YD Red Sox today. Hiatus coming in 12, not 12, 22. Oh, 22. 13 and 2. 12 would be bad. 22 wins is good. Of course. Harbor Hawks. Right. We're in the city, so if you hear any noises during this recording, don't mind them. Um, like I said, second time recording this, my phone overheated. It's really hot out today. Yeah, we got my phone in the shade now, so we're hoping we don't duplicate that result. But if this doesn't get posted, you'll know why. Hopefully, yeah. The second team, we're the other team we're playing against today, mm -hmm. is the YD Red Sox. Coming in 21-15-1. and one. Mm -hmm. First place in the East. Yeah. Currently, Harbor Hawks second in the West. So two of the best teams in the CCBL right now. Mm -hmm. competing against each other in a special venue. I keep looking this way because the field is right there. Yep. Throw a stone there. Could throw a stone there if we had good arms. Yeah, I could. We could try. I bet Jamie Arnold could. Jamie Arnold probably could. Mm -hmm. Maybe throw a football. I don't know. It's pretty close. Yeah. That's all you need to know. Anyways, we're in the parking lot here, ready to talk about this game. Last night, though, 9-3 mm -hmm. win over Chatham. Bouncing back after a tough loss against Falmouth the day after the All-Star break. Had a win last night to kind of get back on pace where things left off. You know, number one in the power rankings for the Hannah yes. Harbor Hawks. Yep. Picking up where that left off. What do you think about that, Matt? Yeah, even though we are second place in the West, we are first in the power rankings, which we love to see. Could do it, first place in the West, has been sliding a bit of late, and it's been exactly the opposite for the Harbor Hawks. Before the All-Star break, 8-1-1 over their last 10 games. Like you said, one really tough loss to Falmouth right after the All-Star break, but it looks like we're back to our winning rate ways with a big victory over Chatham. And I think that first place in the power rankings is well earned. Of course, this is the most important part of the season, gearing up for playoffs as we just finished the spot last night. So that power ranking is great, but I'm sure if we talk to Coach Beatty or anyone else on the team, they say they'd much rather get the real victory at the end of the season than right now. It's safe to say the Hawks are hot, though, right? The Hawks are very hot. The Hawks are very hot. It's hot outside, let me tell you. I don't know how you're wearing pants right now. Yeah, I did not look at the weather, but, you know, look good, feel good, play good. I look good right now. I feel good, and I think the Harbor Hawks are going to play good because of it. We look great. These Harbor Hawks polos, shout out to Harbor Hawks. We look phenomenal. We're ready to go inside that field, but first... Last night's player of the game, mm -hmm. Brandon Ike, Brandon two Ike. five, two RBIs, a double, a stolen base. The man is on fire since going since joining the team. Brand new guy, but it's nice to see a guy that's new in the lineup kind of have some success in the play. Definitely, yeah. Like you said, Brandon Ike has only been here for a handful of games. Joined in late due to some late additions for the team, but it's so great to see a new player doing so well. Like we talked about, we only have eight games left in the regular season, and right after that right into playoffs so having a new player perform like this going into the playoffs is awesome for the team because if we're in the playoffs of the Cape Cod Baseball League you can't have any holes in your roster so having your new player step up and play well right away can be crucial in this one 100 percent Brandon Ike I love that he's got that versatility defensively mm -hmm. I can keep him in the lineup I talked to Coach Beatty last night after the game he was saying he loves that he has that versatility so that he can you know if he's hitting he can play anywhere in the field basically and you know that gives him the ability to stay in the lineup day to day and Keep hitting the ball yep. so uh, you love that you love the versatility defensively you love him hitting the ball offensively but we're talking about today we're talking about today there's a car next to us we're gonna keep it going they we do it in one take well two takes get my phone over here if you haven't if you haven't been there you haven't been there anyways tonight today not today. tonight not tonight 11 o'clock 11 a.m first pitch it's bright and sunny i'm not now. used to this i'm not used to this i'm rattled right now anyways mason that. nichols is mason not going to be rattled nope. tonight Righty out of Ole Miss, looking for a good start out of him today, Matt. What have you seen out of him lately? Yeah, Mason Nichols has been a bit up and down for the team so far, but he's a guy we can trust. Ole Miss, like you said, that's an SEC team. He 
face SEC co competition all the time, and he pitches in SEC stadiums. So I don't think this professional stadium is going to rattle him. I think he's used to playing in tough environments and against tough crowds. So I think he'll be ready to face a good matchup today. Hopefully, I'm not sure the dimensions of this park, but what a professional ballpark. Maybe it'll be a little bit long to the fences, and maybe that'll help him out. This is just speculation, though. So we'll see. Hopefully, he has a great game. I'm not worried for him playing in the special environment. You talk about that special environment. You talk about the SEC. The Whitey Red Sox got another SEC guy starting for them on the mound. Mr. Micah Bucknam. Couldn't see on my laptop. It's so sunny. My laptop is covered in sun. The brightness isn't even bright enough to be able to see. I thought it overheated for a minute. Hopefully that phone hasn't overheated because we're going to have to do this for a Yeah, we have, we have no idea. Anyways, we're going to keep it rolling. Micah Bucknam, if that name sounds familiar, his last start came against the Hyannis Harbor mm -hmm. Hogs. And let me tell you, it was a good one. It was. Six innings, one earned run. You don't love to hear that when it's an opposing pitcher, but you love to hear that when he's on your team. But he's not on our team today. We're hoping for not a repeat performance of that. Hopefully the Harbars can figure him out. Like I mentioned, six innings in a Cape Cod baseball league game. Unquestioned um, that that's just a good opportunity. Sorry, I'm looking at a car. It's kind of got me rattled right now. The woman in the car is smiling bigger than anything. Everybody's maybe she's, a, maybe she's a PLP fan. Maybe she's a really big fan of the parking lot preview. I know all you are out there. Anyways, Michael Bucknam, righty out of LSU. Um, coming into this game, again, like I said, his last start was a good one against us, so hopefully not having that happen again, Matt. Yeah, so that's a national champion right there. He plays and pitches for LSU, so you know he's used to the big situations, just as our Ole Miss starter is today. So hopefully he does not perform as he did. Like you said, six innings in a Cape the game is very rare. These guys usually go three to four innings, five if their pitch count is low. So six innings just showcases how great he was against us last time. But hopefully, with that long outing, we understand what his pitch selection is and we're able to take advantage and do better against him today. Yeah, and those guys that will be taking advantage of that is the starting lineup today. Mm -hmm. Now, we have a lineup today. Yep. It's un unprecedented. I don't know what to do with myself. We have a lineup. Ladies and gentlemen, I just noticed we didn't even do it last recording. Good thing we re-recorded. Here we are. Nick Mitchell leading off in center field. Zach Earhart batting second in right field. Cam Smith. The man everybody loves, third base today, batting third. Zach York cleaning it up um, at first base. DH today, Brandon Ike, player of the game last night, mm -hmm. uh, batting fifth. Eric Snow batting sixth, playing shortstop. Uh, Brody Donay catching for today. Um, number 29. Does she? Yeah. Thank you. We have some Harbor Hawks fans with us, guys. Thank you. Shout out to Harbor Hawks Say fans hi. live on the parking lot preview. We're going to keep it rolling. Brody Donato though, batting oh, seventh today. No, you're, no, you're, you're all you're good. Not, we do it in one take anyway. <laughs> Just disrupt the whole thing. No, that no, was phenomenal. Worries. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you guys. Enjoy the game. I know, I'll know. i tell you what, we're going to enjoy the game. That's We love to see that. Anyways, I really hope they enjoy the game. Oh, they're going to enjoy the game. Who's not going to enjoy this game? I'm going to enjoy the, the game. The Harbor Hawks fans are all over the place. Anyways, Brody Donato, like I said, batting seventh and catching tonight. Elijah Hainline, eighth in the lineup, playing second base and rounding it out in the ninth spot. Everybody's favorite, Trey Lipsy in center field. I think I said Nick Mitchell was in center field. Nick Mitchell's in left. Trey Lipsy in center, batting ninth tonight. And Mason Nick was on the bump. So I'd love ball. to hear that we have a lineup today. I did a terrible job going through that. I apologize to the fans out there. But apparently we still have fans, as you can see. Literally. That's the first time. Do you think they thought it was Grant? They said, big fan of your weather report. I've talked about the weather on the PLP. You look like Grant. Anyways. If you guys are watching, family that we just saw, you guys are lovely. If you're watching, comment below. My name is Matt Coach. Do you think it was Grant McNeil or Matt Coach? Leave a comment, please. Leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. Double Anyways, tap. Double tap. Can you double tap on the YouTube? No. That, that nope. Boston, please. Double I tap. I think that fast not? forwards. If, Why are we talking about YouTube? Let's talk about the Harper Hogs today. We're going to go into our player of the game picks for today. Now, I mentioned in the lineup, one of those guys that's been in the lineup since day one, Mr. Cam Smith, third baseman out of Florida State, in my opinion. Maybe the best player in the Cape Cod baseball. Call me crazy. Maybe. Call me part of Cam's crew because Maybe. Cam's crew is out here. Cam's yeah, family. Cam, if you're watching this, can we get shirts? I saw Jacob Irons got a hat. No kidding. It says Haba Hawks Cam crew on Cam's crew on the back. That if we're giving out merch, Cam, we're gonna have to talk. Let's talk. We're to some Cam. of Cam's biggest fans. We're gonna find you after the game. I'm running Cam. a feature on Cam Smith, by the way. Harborhawks.com or .org, whatever it is. Go there, check it out. Harborhawks.com and .org. Feature on Cam Smith coming out shortly. It should TBD. be good. TBD. Anyways, if Matt would ever get to editing it. Anyways, Cam Smith's my player of the game tonight. Today. Well, today. Today. It's not today. Tonight. I'm so used to saying tonight. I'm rattled. We got fans all over the place. We're in the city. It's hot out. I'm sweating. I don't know how you got pants on. Anyways, I already said that. Cam Smith, 
Um, good at baseball. Good at baseball. Good he tonight. really hits the ball hard, hits the ball well. He's going to be in the lineup. I saw his Instagram story today. Good follow on Instagram. He's hype. He's out there showing the field to his fans. He looks excited to be in a professional ballpark. I think he's going to be, you know, excited to hit balls out of the professional ballpark today. Exactly. I'm going to go to you, though. Are you on? Wait, before we go to me, is that a confirmed home run pick? Tonight? No, no. Not a confirmed home run pick, guys. All right, don't get too excited. We're, we're calling a great game from Cam Smith. Great game. Pick. You can't call a home run that often. No. I've already called it, too many this year. It loses this value. Year. You're it right. loses value. Cam Smith's going to have a great game. He's going to win player of the game tonight. Even if he doesn't win player of the game, he's going to have a good game. Harbox are going to win. We're going to move on and uh, go to, to go to Matt's pick of the game, player of the game. I'm going to go in a different direction, personally. Someone who has not been here since day one. Someone who is a midseason addition. But even though he came in late, he was still an all-star because he was that great for the team. That would be Nick Mitchell, our leadoff man almost every day. Plays in the outfield. He's a great player for us. He's leading off for a reason because the team wants him to get the most at-bats. Sorry. Um, they want him to get the most at-bats in this lineup, and I think he's going to take advantage of those at-bats, get on base, get a few big hits for this team. Like, you've just read the lineup. The bottom of the lineup is so stacked. Guys like Trey Lips you're going to get on for Nick Mitchell down in this game, and I think that uh, Nick Mitchell is going to have some RBI opportunities because of that. 100%. you got an all-star batting nine. you got an all-star batting first, and you got an all-star batting third. And a guy, a, we have guys You all can't complain about that. Too many all-stars to keep track of. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I love the pick of Nick Mitchell. I love that he's been in the – I actually picked him yesterday on the beach. If you know, you know. You were there. You saw it. Anyways, I love the pick. I love the pick of just the Harbor Hawks to have a good game. We're in such a great environment, at such a nice field. Um, not that we've been inside, we need to use our tickets to get in. Um, but if you can't go to the game today, check out the live stream. I know the the uh, broadcast people are super excited. They've been yes. here since like I don't even know seven o'clock this morning. Something crazy. They're ready to go. They brought all their equipment. It's gonna be a great broadcast. Shout out to them. Shout out to us for making this parking lot preview happen. My clock on my computer again. It's very very hard to see. Ten forty six. That's fourteen minutes. Till oh my first goodness! Pitch. We gotta get this going. Woo. This isn't even gonna be uploaded by the time ah. game Anyways, if you watch, we really appreciate it. We love you watching as always. Hey, Matt, for our fans. Matt, for Matt, our fans. Thank you to our fans. Thank you to Matt for being here. Thank you to me for being here. Thank you for the Harbor Hawks for playing this game. Thank you for the Cape Cod Baseball League. We're gonna wrap it up here. Hopefully the phone didn't overheat. It did not. Panta, Connecticut. That's our stadium. This is Hartford, ladies and gentlemen. Go Harbor Hawks. Go Hawks, baby.